Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Let's give it a few minutes before we start the show. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome sauce. Okie dokie, making sure everything is working with no problem. As always, we are live streaming to Facebook Live as well as my primary channel, YouTube. So I'm just making sure everything is working correctly. It looks like the YouTube channel is receiving content. That is always a good thing. Super happy. And it looks like we are live. We're going to give it uh, one more minute before we start. And uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do things right today. Super excited. All right, all right, all right. All right, so let's just get started. Hey, guys, welcome back. It is your boy, Bernardo, from the BTNHD. And as always, not as always, because last week I took some time off and uh, from the server room. I gave, I gave myself a little bit of a break, and uh, I got three episodes lined up for the following three weeks, so I'm super excited. So today is the server room, episode 24, and we're dealing with... Um, Apple devices and we're deploying uh, apps to it using SCCM as well as Intune. So I think the couple of the server room episodes that we did together a while back, we did the configuration with Intune with our SCCM. We enabled Apple devices and all that good stuff. And we uh, installed the, the application within our iOS device, which is this guy right here. And it started talking to our SCCM. We were able to get into that. We saw the, we were able to explore, get all the information from our mobile device. It was pretty cool. And, um, and yeah, so today we're going to be dealing with Apple iOS de uh, apps, deploying it to your, um, to your Apple device. Okay. So before I start, let's, uh, get into some announcements. Okay. Let me uh, switch over. Hello. So the first announcement is an easy one. Uh, episode 25 is going to happen next week. We are dealing with Android support. We're enabling that. And we're going to be deploying apps with SCCM to an Android device. I think the Android device that I have is the Galaxy S5 old school Android. But hey, it still works. Good in shape. And the... Uh, the next announcement is the server room episode 26. Believe it or not, I'm finally doing a video on my channel deploying an application with SCCM. I haven't done that yet. I've always done MDT stuff for you guys, like deploying an application with MDT, but I've never done it with SCCM. So I'm super happy that I'm going to be doing it uh, with you guys live on the server room. So that's going to happen on October 7th. So those are the new, those. that's the announcements, the, the next two episodes on September 30th, we're going to be doing enabling Android support and deploying an app. So it's we're killing two birds with one stone. And the reason why is because my Intune trial is uh, expiring on that day. So I'm just trying to take advantage of that. And then on October 7th, uh, episode 26, we're going to be deploying an application with SCCM. So that's pretty cool. Once again, I want to give Lenovo a big thanks for hooking me up with the TD340. That is the server that we have been using for throughout our entire series of the server room. So thank you so much, Lenovo, for that support. And uh, we will stop the chatting and we're going to get into the presentation now. I want you guys to understand that the reason why I do PowerPoints or I take uh, screenshots of everything is because huh, when you do things live and you want to do things in front of when you do things in front of people, stuff starts acting up it starts slowing down and you get problems. And I just don't want to waste you guys time. I want you guys to come in here for a good 45 an hour together, learn something, pick it up, try it out on your testing environment, even push it out to your production. The whole point here is to learn something, not for me to, you know, sweat bullets and stuff not working. OK, so all this stuff, all this PowerPoint stuff and the screenshots, I've done this stuff behind the scenes. Everything is working. When I have problems, 
I would take a shot of it. I would show you guys, hey, this is the problem that I got. This is how I fix it. So, yeah, I just don't want to waste time during the show troubleshooting with you guys, okay? Also, at the end of the show, the PowerPoint, the notes will be placed inside the GitHub. So, the link is at the bottom of the video, at the description. So, if you go there, I centralize all our notes uh, for the server room as well as old videos within the channel like my mvt my scripts my everything i centralize everything in one hub to make life easy for you guys okay so let's get the party started and as always if you have the power to leave a comment as well within facebook live leave a comment right below and uh and also on youtube leave a comment right below let me know how you're doing where you're from if you're new at the channel don't forget about hitting that subscribe button if you uh if you always if you've been here you know what to do Say hi, bye, goodbye, th good job, whatever. Leave your name. Let me know how you guys are doing. I appreciate all support. So far, we got seven people, and it's it's going to grow. All right. So, like I said earlier, we're going to deploy an iOS app with SCCM using Intune. Okay. So, the first thing I did within my environment is create folders because I love creating folders. It keeps myself organized. It keeps, my it keeps myself not going crazy. And I also like doing it within MDT. If you guys have seen my MDT videos in the past, I love creating folders, subfolders of everything, right? So within my SCCM console, uh, really simple. Uh, you want to go inside your software library. And within software library, you want to go into the application node. I right-clicked on it and I went to folder, create folder, okay? Let me get out of here real quick. Let's go back. There we go. You're going to get the nice little dialog box to enter a name, enter whatever you want. I kept it real simple and I created a root folder call, uh, called mobile devices. And uh, from there, I call yeah, mobile devices. I actually created more folders. So right now I'm going to show you guys how to add an iOS app package at, within the app store. There's two ways to do it. You can either have the, I believe the the actual app the apple app application if you have a built-in developing uh, de uh developer team within your and um, you know within your work environment that creates apps for your job most likely you have the file so you could push it out that way with sccm if you don't have that luxury you could push it out using the app store i'm going to show you guys the steps of how to do it with the file i don't have a particular file but it's a really easy so within the app store, uh, that's what we're going to do. So as always, I love creating folders. So I created a folder called iOS because duh, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to be pushing, right? Applications for the iOS. So as always, you know, again, you right click on it, folder, create a folder and give it a name. Okay. You don't really need to follow this, but that's just the way I like to do it. Okay. So with my iOS folder that I created, uh, I right clicked create applications. And within here, you're going to get this nice little wizard. So if you click on the drop down right here, you're going to get a crap load of stuff. Now, this is basic right here. The Windows installer with the MSI file, that's what you would normally use when you're pushing out applications to your PC users. Okay. Now, later on, hopefully, if everything goes well, I will be touching base on the Mac OS stuff. The stuff right here, because you are actually able to deploy um, uh mac os applications to your mac people on the floor which is pretty cool uh, i will go over that series soon so i just gotta you know get the notes going so from the drop down the one that we're going to be picking is the app package for ios from the app store if you already have the ipa file okay if your developer team has already uh, created that stuff they're going to give you the ipa files whatever you need and you can push it out that way for us, we're going to be doing it with the App Store because this is the easiest route, right? You click on Next. Once you click on Next, uh, you browse. So once you click on Next, you hit Browse. When you hit Browse, because you picked or you told the SCCM that you want to get the iOS app from the App Store, when you click on Browse, this nice little window, which is, <laughs> which is really weird because it looks like Microsoft didn't take the time to create a nice little icon for it. It's like this is the generic icon uh because i've done a little bit of visual c plus plus and the application when you kind of render i think render is the correct term when you're you know i think it's render 
I don't remember. But when you're testing out or debugging, there you go, debugging your application. I think this is the, the basic icon for it. But you get this nice little window. Uh, it's really weird because the window, it's really, uh, it's odd. It's, from here, you're gonna search. This search button right here did not work for me. I tried to search for the application that I wanna push out my Apple devices. I typed in Microsoft Remote Desktop. And as you can see, there's no cement. Okay, there's nothing. Okay. So I had to go all the way to the bottom and locate it the hard way. So I went inside, um, I think I went inside businesses and within business, you're going to get all this. So it's in alphabetic order. So I clicked on M for Microsoft and I navigated throughout all the pages. Again, I tried searching it with the search box that it provided, but it was not working. So I had to go in to each, not each file. So I just had, a, I think it was on number 64 or 75, page 64 or 75 that I located the Microsoft remote desktop. Now, when you click on it, it's going to take you to this. Once it takes you to this, you're going to click on next. Once you click on next, it's going to give you the HTTPS address. Now, you could you can actually go inside a browser and go into the app store uh, and then just copy and paste. That's an easy way to do. I kind of learned that the hard way. So once you have the link there, you click on next and you got to view import information, green check mark, click on next. And you can just change the basic information by default it just grabs the first thing which is microsoft remote desktop I, I actually changed it to all caps little space remove that dash and i just changed the publisher to um to microsoft click on next nice little uh settings for the application click on next again it's gonna do its thing and if everything works well you got green check marks and then you're gonna close it now simple super simple and again, we did all the legwork. We did all the hard work. We, we, we got the, uh, the Apple device to talk to our, I, um, within, we got the Apple device to talk to our SCCM. We've done that already. This is, I think this is like the easiest part. Now there's time to deploy the iOS app. So once you go inside the folder or wherever you drop that application in, you want to right click on it and hit deploy. Simple, right? Once you hit deploy, you got the nice little deploy software wizard. You want to click on browse and once you click on browse you have to pick uh which selection is going to get this application now because we want our intune users to retrieve this advertisement because it's like an advertisement uh, i picked my microsoft intune users once you do that you click ok all right and i left this as defaults you can leave some comments for you know your next SCCM technician click on next on that and for the content uh, I didn't do anything within the content so I left everything as is uh, with the deployment settings so I'm gonna zoom in for you guys a little bit there you go for deployment settings uh, action duh you need to install I forgot what was the other actions from here uh, I'll probably do something live with you guys so we could check that out uh, for the purpose, you only have two options you have available, you have required. Now, available will give the user the option to see the app and then they're able to click on it anytime they want and install it. Required is, okay, you have an app, uh, you have a company app that you want to deploy to all your mobile users ASAP. Required would be the way to do it. Uh, this option right here is require the admin approval if user requests this application. This is a, this is a pretty cool feature. I don't go over it right now, but I do go over it when we do the Android stuff. Okay. This, this right here, what, it, what it does is when the person clicks on the app, it says, okay, you need, you need, uh, you need to request approval. It gives you a nice little window. You type in, okay, I need this app for work, blah, blah, blah. They submit it. You would get the, you would get the thing within the approval request section right here and then you're able to approve it or deny it and then that's it then they're, they're able to deploy it then the next thing that you need to do once you pick available click on next the scheduling you don't really need to do anything i think the scheduling would be it works best if you're doing a required because you want to push it out a certain time okay user experience you have two options right here I think the default one is display and software center and show all notifications. 
You don't want to display in software center and only show notifications and computer restart. Again, it's not a computer restart. It's really weird that they, they give you this option. You would think SCCM will be a little smart. Okay, SCCM picks or understands that you're deploying a, a device, you know, an application for a device. Like certain, certain options should be like removed, but it's the same thing as uh, deploying an application for your PC people. Okay, so you want to pick that. I left this as is. This doesn't really matter. So we're going to click on next. Alert. I left it as the default. I didn't do any alerts. Now, this is what I was telling you guys earlier. I like to do things behind the scenes because if you don't do things behind the scenes, you won't get errors. And uh, I didn't, I didn't want to spend time troubleshooting. And I did receive an error. And I troubleshooted. And I'm going to show you guys what I did. So that's awesome. So from here, I said to myself, application management, and I, crossed, I, you know, I, sh I kind of scratched my head. I was like, what's going on? Application management. Did I create an application management? I don't think so. So I hate next because I wanted to skip it. I don't. For me, I don't think I need it. So I clicked on this guy. There was nothing in it. So I clicked next, and it gave me error. So it says the software you're trying to deploy right, it must be associated with a mobile application management policy. So I'm scratching my head. I'm like, what the heck? what seriously i don't need it. so i needed to fix i need to fix this for the application to be deployed now the way that i fix it is how to create a management policy so to do that it's really simple so within your software library inside your i believe uh i think it's inside the application management node uh there's an application management policy so you want to right click on that and click on create application management policy right duh you got the nice little wizard you give it a name i gave it a super simple name btnhd ios apps policy right and from here the platform you have multiple platforms i think there's a there's an option for windows androids etc etc again pick your platform for us was the ios and the policy type is two types you got general and managed browser i picked the default one was which was general then from here, you got a lot of goodies. And I can't I can't say, okay, guys, this is what you need to do. You need to say no, yes, no, yes, okay. You have to take some sweet time, do a lot of research, and go over each step to fit your environment, okay? Who am I to tell you, okay, hit no on this option, okay? But for me, because this is a testing environment, I want to see how everything works, right? I left everything as the default. Okay, you, one option right here by default is yes, it restricts the web content to display and the manage browser. You have prevent in uh, iTunes and iCloud backups. Yes, that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool because let's say the person has a personal iPhone, right? And that personal iPhone has, or, or that, person, that, that person is using an iPhone for work-related stuff and they have, you know, you need to push applications to them. But that data that they're using is very important. You don't want that data to be backed up to the iCloud, right? So there's certain things that you need to go over. Each one, just go over all of them. I can't really tell you what's best, all right? Like by default, the, the options that they provide you is pretty cool, pretty straightforward. I like the fact that requires simple pin for access is yes. Uh, attempts before pin reset five. This is, it's pretty simple but you might have to change it up depending on your environment, okay? Click on next. Once you click on next, you got a, you get a nice little confirm the settings and click on next. It looks like it's working and it's completed. Get that green check mark. That's always a good thing when you get that green check mark and you close it, done. So we got our management policy up and running. So now we can deploy. So back to this guy right here, right? Now I'm able to click on the drop down and get this now when i got to this portion right here that general policy already populated it was already there so that's a good thing but if you have multiple policies you might have to just click on the drop down and pick the one that you are using for that particular device okay if we were using an android device you pick the android device policy from here you click on next then you have app configuration policy. Didn't need to do anything here because it's not really associated to, with anything. So I click on next on that. Uh, nice little summary, click on next. It's working, doing this magic and it's done. 
love to see those green check marks. Those green, those green check marks are always a good thing. So you're going to close that up. So the ne next thing that we need to do is edit the deployment type on the app. So I'm going to get a little water. Look at the chat. Hey, Charles, how you doing? Hey, Tony, what is up? Uh, hey, Carlos, how you doing? All from Dallas. Welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing? Benjamin, how you doing? Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Benjamin says, hi, I'm sorry. I'm late. One of my servers decided to... Cr oh, my God. I've I've been there, dude. I've been there. I know how that feels. I know how that feels, Benjamin. Oh, my God. I've been through that so many times. When it's time to go home, something happens. Ugh. All right. So let's continue. All right. Edit deployment type on app. So what is this? So within here, so we want to go inside software library. Uh, I went inside my iOS folder. Again, you don't really need to follow what I'm doing, but you want to locate the application that you have um, deployed and click on it. And right here in the bottom, you have three options. You have summary, uh, development types, and developments. Click on development types right click on this guy right here and go to properties within properties you're going to have general content and requirements click on the requirements section and this right here allows you to modify or filter which devices are able to install this particular application right that's pretty cool so you're creating rules so you're creating rules for this app so let's say if this device does not have the latest operating system or the latest iOS. It's not able to install this. That's basically what this is. So what we want to do is click on add. Once you click on add, you get this nice little dialog box. It's okay. Once you get, when you click the add button, this takes a while for it to show up. So just be patient. Once it shows up, you can get this other stuff right here. And what I did was I changed the following. So within devices, I left it condition is going to be the operating system the rule type is going to be value and right here operator is going to be one of whatever so it's going to support all these operating systems okay so you have the operating system now the ownership is basically this device ownership equals to the company okay so it's a, if it's a company device right if this device is within the company not in personal it's able to deploy this application okay that's one rule and the second rule was an operating system base you can actually um filter it out you don't need to do all of it it's up to you okay and next thing is user experience so how is the user going to see this so the way that the user is going to see it again you open up the app and once you open up the app when you click on apps or all apps, you're going to see the application right here. When you click on it, it's going to give you an option to install. And it's going to say apps will be installed into the iPhone. Tap here if you are not currently using the iPhone. So hit install. And it's going to start pending the sync. Click on install. You get this nice, you're going to get this nice little dialog box. Just hit install, downloading, and it's there. Now, one of the cool things about this is when you click on it, when I clicked on it, it said this, your IT department is now helping you protect company data in this app. Press OK. And then again, you know, one of the policies is that you need to set a pin for the app. How cool is that? So you enter a pin, confirm it, and that's it. You start using the app. That's pretty awesome. Now, I have a phone right here. And let's see with the magic of technology let's do something let's let's uh, let's be a rebel let's 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 do something together so let's right click on this let me zoom in for you guys i, I want to try it out right let's try it out so let's right click on this guy right here let's create an application okay let this load up let me zoom out real quick okay and i have i have my phone right here because I I want to I want to end the show with a, a good thing, right? So I have the app right here with the magic of technology. I'm going to boom, right? So 
you guys can see, right? Swiping it, you guys can see what's in there. Everything is live, everything is good to go. So I have the app being displayed. I have the company portal right there. See if I'm able to get connected. It's loading the company resources, preparing your portal. Bam. Awesome. Awesome sauce. So I go all apps. Oh, what's going on? Uh-oh. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Uh, I know what's going on. Oh, there it goes. I think I'm having issues because my Intune is expiring. And they, they're becoming a pain in the butt because they want me to pay. Hmm. All right, so I don't have any apps. The only app that I have was the one that I took the, scan, uh, the screenshots for, for you guys. And we are going to deploy an app live. Why the hell not, right? Let's just, let's just do it. Okay, so let me zoom in for you guys because I, I want to end this show with a bang, right? So we are going to do app package iOS from the app store. We're going to browse. And I just want to show you guys that this sucks because... It'd be funny if they fixed it, <laughs> but I know they didn't fix it. It takes a while for it to load up. Come on, load up. There it goes. Again, doesn't give you an option or anything. It's like, ugh, got to play guess who. So I'm going to, I don't know, I don't know. Let's go to business. Now let's go, let's do something fun. Let's, I don't have any, I definitely don't have any games. Let's go to adventure let's see we're gonna just pick one random game okay planet planets uh plants vs zombie 2 i definitely don't have that onto my phone so let's uh zoom out go back here let me uh go back home and i don't have that app anywhere okay nothing i don't have i don't have that app okay awesome so Let's go back in here, go all the way. I'm going to expand this a little bit. So we see it right there. We're going to press OK. And let's zoom in. Zoop. <laughs> Got the nice little address. And we're gonna going to click on Next. It's doing its thing. Awesome. Click on Next. And from here, I'm a little anal with this stuff. You can leave it as is, but me i like to keep everything efficient bam i don't know who the publisher is i'll leave everything as is and uh, i don't know what version so I'll click on next on that awesome click next and it's doing its thing awesome sauce and we are going to close now i already have a um management policy for it so that's good to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on you. I'm, ugh, I'm going to click on you. I'm going to click on the iOS application that we just have. It has zero, but it's active. We haven't deployed it yet. Click on it. And I'm going to, I'm going to go all the way in the bottom at deployment types. And we're going to right click on it. We're going to go to properties. And we're going to go to requirements. And I don't have anything in it. So I'm going to do it add. Okay, so the following I'm going to do is I'm going to do ownership. Uh, this is going to be company. Okay, click another one and operating system. We are going to do an iPhone and let's just, I don't know what version I have on this phone. So I'm just going to play it safe and do seven, eight, and nine and do okay. Apply it. <laughs> oh, and it's... <laughs> I'm, I'm smiling because everything is working. I'm like getting right. I'm getting seriously getting teary eyes right now because I love the, I love when everything is working when I'm showing you guys, you know, no problem so far, right? Knock on wood, knock on wood, right? So the next thing that we did is, oh, so we got an application from the app store. We changed the deployment types with requirements. That's a good thing. We're going to right click on this guy and we're going to do is deploy. Okay. Let's see the deploy where it pops up. Awesome. We need to pick our uh, collection. Great. Click on OK. Remember, we are pushing it out to our Microsoft Intune users. Now, our Intune, our Intune users are the ones that are using their username and password to log into the company portal app. Okay. And I think my thing, I think my thing went to sleep. I don't want my thing to go to sleep. 
on me. So, all right, there goes, there goes, there goes. Awesome. And then go sleep on me. Beautiful. Again, I don't have the application. Let's click on it right here. There's nothing in it. Awesome. Refresh it. All right? There's nothing in it because we haven't deployed it. Great. All right? I don't want you to think, oh, that's magic. You did magic. You, you already have all that stuff done, Bernardo. No. this is. I'm doing this live for you guys to let you know that, you know, you know, this is this this shit is real <laughs> okay so don't need this so we're gonna click on next on that i don't need content destination so we're gonna leave that that is okay so this is the part that i wanted to show you guys the action part i only have two you want to install uninstall that's cool purpose you only have two options we're going to do available we're not going to do the request uh admin approval we're going to do that for the next episode because i have that stuff already set off for the uh for the android stuff so gotta wait for that right uh you're gonna click on next we're not scheduling it so i click on next on that uh we are gonna leave the default so this is the default you only have two options really it's this is really weird to even have this here uh, microsoft you should remove this you don't need this for the devices click on so, click on next for alerts you're gonna click on next uh here we go uh, our app configuration policy. So I'm click on new. And uh, we don't have a policy. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, new. <laughs> click on new. And and close. So let's give it some time. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see something on this guy right here. I want to check something out real quick, guys. Okay. Navigation. Good, good, good. Reference. Good. Distribution settings. Good, good, good. Just going over a couple of things. Okay. Content. Okay. Good, good. All right. Let's double check this guy right here. Awesome. We just did the deploy. Yeah, we deployed it. We deployed. I just forgot. That's how bad my memory is. It's nuts. Okay. Okay. Just going over a couple of things. All right. Content location. Okay. Okay. Press okay. Awesome. All right. So. Okay. Do, do, do. 100%. All right. All right. So I don't know. How to, I never timed it before. So I really don't know how long it takes. All right. We're back onto our iOS device. What I'm going to do is let's do a refresh. See how this works. Oh, what's going on? All right. Probably takes a time for it to show up. All right, all right. Uh, I, I, see, I never timed it before, so I don't really know how long it's going to take for it to show up. Hmm. I never timed it before. It's being deployed. Good stuff. Let's see. Let's see. All right, we did the browse. Yeah, we did the browse already. <gasps> oh, shoot. Crap. I unchecked this. God darn it. All right, so we're going to do that again. I unchecked this by mistake. Click on next. Application has already been deployed to the Microsoft into. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I messed up. I unchecked this. All right, so let's do something real quick. Let's do something real quick. Let's, uh... Let's create another application. So let's just pick something random again because I made a mistake and I unchecked that. So we're going to just do this real quick with you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, don't do business. Go back. Let's do adventure again. Let's pick a crazy game. doesn't matter. I'm going to do it real quick. Let's pick this game. Very popular game. My son plays this game. Click OK. Next. 
I'm gonna do real quick with you guys. I'm gonna do a capital R on this one again. I'm just being anal. Uh, click next, next. There you go. Okay, awesome. And I'm I'm doing this super quick. It's the same steps with the notes that I'm gonna show you guys. So don't worry about that. And click on add. And uh, just doing it real quick. Yep, yep, yep. Boom. Click on add. And operating system. We're going to do this. Excellence. Apply. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to right click on it. Go deploy. And I made the mistake of unchecking this. So we're going to pick our Intune. Great. Next. Content. We don't need that. Deployment. It's available. Install. Yes. Next. Next. Next again. Next again. And if required, associated mobile app configuration policy. Each deployment type in the application. I don't know why I don't have anything here. Oh. Wait a minute. 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 Application app. Do 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 do. Let's see. Doop. Properties. Let's check the properties at this management to policy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, this is generic. So I don't really know. Okay. So let's just create another one and see what happens. Let's uh, second server room the server room ios device policy because i don't really think i already have one so why should i create another one it's general general ios i'm gonna leave everything as the default click on next and close that up excellent don't really know why i need that but it's okay i'm gonna right click on this and we are going to deploy and this is going to be for the Intune users. Leave that. Click on next. Don't need that. Click on next. Available install. Next. 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 Ah. This is weird. I don't know why this is not showing up. That's really weird because I'm supposed to have a policy. But for some reason, policy is not showing up very very weird um, hmm interesting all right let's check the app let's see if it kind of went through because i know it went pretty fast last time and this time is going pretty slow for me and this is the reason why i do things oh there it goes ah nice just have to be patient jesus christ have to be patient but I'm worried a little bit because when I when I deploy it, when I deploy, it doesn't give me an option. This this concerns me. I don't know why. Is it is it because okay when I go blah 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 okay right here this right here this concerns me because is the policy being pushed out to every iOS device because I did it the first time on this application. I need to figure that out. I think so. I think because I deployed my first iOS with that policy, every iOS device is going to have the same um, management policy. This is the reason why it's not there. But another question that comes in mind is when I click on new, why don't I see the one that I created? I should at least see the other one that I created and that's not there. So I definitely need to answer that stuff myself. But if you guys have answers for that let me know you know at the comment section so let's go back here because it looks like our planet uh plant versus zombie 2 has work is right there awesome sauce just had to be patient right we're gonna click on it and okay another thing that i kind of found strange is that if i click on the app it didn't require uh, or it didn't ask me to put my password for my my app store so if I click on install, it should it just went straight in. Let's click on install. It's going through. 
right now I see it's live just want to show you guys it's happening it's, all right right now it's pending the sync let's see what happens it's pending 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 no yep, there it goes install now it says give you the password so i'm gonna block this because i don't want you guys to see you guys are just whoa 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 block everything because i know you guys you guys are sneaky so let's put the password in you guys are sneaky people let's bring it back oh, i'll put my password wrong let's do that again do 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 now it's downloading it was, it's weird because when I installed the Microsoft remote desktop it did not ask for a password so I'm happy that it did with you guys so that's a good thing right so right now it's downloading I think if I hit home and go into the home there goes the application how sweet is that now another question that comes in mind is if i click on this app because it's you know a game will it ask me to enter a pin so we're gonna wait until that's finished and we're gonna go inside the chat and uh see what's up with you guys again i thank you so much for the for you guys joining in saturday every uh, try to do every saturday at 3 p.m 3 p.m eastern standard time uh, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, don't forget to share the video as well as hit that like button if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe welcome to the family everything you know i love you guys thank you so much for the support and i think it's done so let's go back into our app there it goes so i'm going to click on it so everything is live so i'm going to click on it there it goes so it did not request a pin, which is okay. And yeah, awesome. Oh, oh, it's all the age. All right, so that's awesome. Go back. Super, super awesome. All right, guys. So we're gonna give it a. Let's give it a, three more minutes. If you guys have any questions or anything else. Um, I'm going to end the show right here. We're going to end it early. Wow. Wow. We're going to end it early. Uh, and that's it, guys. That is how we deploy an iOS device using SCCM and uh, Intune. Uh, I think Intune has been our middleman, has been the glue of our SCCM in our mobile devices. Uh, so if you guys have any questions at all, leave them at the, at the live chat. If there are questions that I should be following up, make sure you come back once the once the video has finished loading up to the channel. Then come back to the chat because that you know, once you leave a comment, I will get an email and I'll follow up with you guys. The live chat kind of disappears. Overall, guys, hopefully, in you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, this the show. Uh, again, we're gonna go over a couple of things before I go and leave you guys. And that is the announcements. If you guys missed out, uh, the two announcements is episode 25 is going to be enabling app uh, Android support and deploying apps within SCCM. I'm trying to push out uh, this video. I would normally split it into two, but I'm doing I'm killing two birds with one stone because uh, on September 30th my Intune expires, so I want to take advantage of that. So I'm, I'm doing the enabling as well as the app. I'm doing the management policy. I'm doing everything on that day. So stay tuned for that. And then on um, October 7th, episode 26, deploying an application with SCCM. I'm finally doing that. I haven't done that for the channel at all. And I'm definitely going to I'm going to be doing it live for you guys. Uh, I don't recall which application I'm deploying, but it's a good one. And uh, I think on the deploying application with the SCCM, I'm doing it in two parts. I'm deploying it, and then I'm doing the approval request approach, which is pretty awesome. All right. So overall, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Thank you, everyone that's joined. 
I know it's Saturday, it's nice outside, so why the hell would you stay with me and learn something, right? <laughs> but uh, if you guys are trying this stuff within your lab or even within your production environment, hey, shoot me a comment, shoot me an email. I would love to see how far you guys are getting into this within your lab or production environment if you have any problems i'm i'm always around i'm willing to help you guys out because if i help you guys out i help myself out i make myself stronger you're stronger everyone is stronger everyone's learning so hopefully you guys enjoy the server room um and i catch you guys on the next one again episode 25 26 are lined up so stay tuned for that and uh, as always, thank you so much. And I love you guys. All right? Peace out. All right? All right. How you end this? How do you end this? Think. Uh, is it over? Wait, is it over? Wait, wait, it's over. Wait, wait. It's over? All right. It's over. Wait, 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 it's not over. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> All right, bye, guys.